good evening YouTube. I just got my license keys for the MPEG and VC1 uh, codex on my Raspberry Pi. I'm running on the OpenELEC image right now and one thing I haven't found yet is a way to enter the, that information. I saw RASBMC has an edit config.txt which is the file you've got to put the keys in. What I have here is the PuTTY Windows SSH terminal. I've got SSH enabled on the uh, Raspberry Pi. The host name Open E L E C is the host name, and so I want to connect to that system. The default login is root, and open elect is the password. I found a nice page here, htcpbuild.com. They have some good information, although it's a bit dated, but what you need to do is you look at the mounted file systems you've got slash flash here that's your fat partition you can view that from a uh, pc or you can access it directly on the running raspberry pi and then slash storage is your the rest of the partition with with all the Lim linux images but this flash partition is mounted read only so you can't actually edit anything there so what you need to do is remount flash read write with the command mount slash flash dash o remount comma rw read write now you've got a read write partition then you go to flash cd slash flash so now you can see i've changed to a little darker gray color so now fire up your vi editor they have command line completion you can just type part of the Part of the file name config and then hit tab and it'll comp complete that for you. And here's the htcbuild.com site is saying there's no config.txt, but there actually is a big long config.txt. And the other interesting thing is this is where the overclocking settings are. I didn't see a way to enable those in OpenELEC RASBMC. You can set these parameters directly, so I might try that here. But anyway, you scroll to the bottom, end of default configurations, and what you want to append are your two license keys that you get from the Raspberry Pi store. Just cut and paste if you select them here and then just right click it'll paste them in there and then I've already done that and uh, type that file out and just see that you've got the two decode MPEG decode VC1 in there and then there's uh, if you want to run after you reboot you have to reboot the Raspberry Pi after you do this and then you can run one or the other of those commands to see if it's enabled so after you save it, you reboot, and now you have the hardware MPEG-2 and VC-1 codecs enabled, and that seems to make live TV, those seem to use MPEG-2 streams, so you can then exit out of PuTTY since you're done. Your keys are going to be different, they're tied to the serial number, and that, that was the other thing I was going to show you. So let me bring that up again. A file called flash proc directory CPU uh, info and that tells you about the CPU and then the serial number on your machine is that last line every machine will have a unique number so you have to use your number because if you use my number it won't work on your machine so you you copy and that serial number and then you go to the Raspberry Pi Foundation Store page, purchase the MPEG-2 license, and then you paste that serial number in and enter your, you know, create an account there. I think both licenses was a four dollars and sixty-nine cents U.S. This was in January 2015. So 
half a day later you get this email back from them from the Raspberry Pi store and there's your license keys uh, you could also probably do this on the SD card mount your put your SD card in your PC and edit that uh, the one editable partition the thing you probably have to be careful of is you'd want to use an editor a Unix or a Linux editor versus a you know a Windows editor because you'll get the carriage return line feed stuff I don't know if they're if they deal with that because I, I noticed if I edited the config.txt file right there on the fat card it's just one long line so you have to be careful editing that file if you use notepad or something like that you might might end up messing up that file and then your Raspberry Pi might not boot and you'll have to start all over again but that's how you put the uh, hardware codec keys I'll, I'll try rebooting with RAS BMC I noticed they had a, a menu item where you could edit config.txt so that seems like this is different you know it's the same keys so you're gonna have to put these keys into every SD card uh, so I've got a RAS BMC card and I've got an open elect card so I'm gonna have to put these keys on both of them so I can run either uh, version I'll try to wrap this video up be sure to rate share and comment check out some of my other videos subscribe to the channel for updates and as always thanks for watching